People who have long visited the beach here in Santos on the coast of Sao Paulo state say they do feel that over the years the sea has been encroaching on the sand. The Santos resident, who has been rowing regularly here for the last 30 years, says the changes are clear and can be dramatic. A gente percebe, sim. We definitely notice a rise in the high tides. It even invades this area, and we're very concerned because our canoes are kept here. When there's a swell, with the wind coming in coinciding with the high tide, there have been many problems with the sea even reaching the buildings. This perception has been now confirmed by researchers from the University of Sao Paulo, who have been monitoring sea levels at two points along the state's coast for the last 73 years. Their conclusion? The sea rose 20 centimeters during this period, with an acceleration over the last nine years. The mean sea level of the coast rose by about 20 centimeters. But the, the beaches are in many places of the coast are actually very flat, so the horizontal expression of this vertical uh, uh, rise of 20 centimeters is actually a, um, an advancement of the sea towards the coast, which can be uh, several meters uh, inshore. There's a growing body of evidence indicating that sea levels are rising, and coastal cities like Santos have been taking action to address this consequence of climate change. One project, which Santos City authorities say has been successful, was the installation back in 2018 of underwater eco bags filled with sand designed to reduce beach erosion. We have established a climate change committee. We have developed a climate action plan that sets goals and objectives for the government in terms of mitigation and adaptation measures concerning coastal erosion, work and strengthening of drainage in the city, and also containment of slopes for periods of intense rain. The clock is ticking and the stakes are high. The same researchers who documented the 20 centimeter rise say sea levels could further rise to 36 centimeters by 2050 if more actions aren't taken. And CO2 emissions are not reined in. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Santos, Brazil.